We've got the Audi RS5 once again, and as you can see, it's currently filthy. Shazam! Oh yeah. Oh God, what is that? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. We've got the Audi RS5 once again, and as you can see, it's currently filthy. I haven't cleaned it since we got it from the auction. In fact, it's still got sold and the date written on the windscreen. As you watch this, this will have been running as a raffle for quite a while. But as it actually happens in real life, I need to get this cleaned so we can take nice pictures of it to get them on feelgoodcompetitions.com where you can win this for a fiver. So I got Mark with me. We're going to get this. I did want to do a bit of a machine polish on it. We may still do that. But for now, because all of our polishing machines have blown up, we're just going to give it a nice deep clean, get it looking its best, put a nice little ceramic spray coating on there, and then it will be ready to hit the raffle website. So let's get into it. The other thing we need to do, I almost forgot, is we need to regas the aircon because that's not working very well. Hopefully that holds a charge, but if not, then we're going to need to look into that more. And I'm also going to plug in our OBD11, do a full kind of health check on it, make sure everything is A-OK, -okay, and maybe see if we can do some customization as well. So we'll come back to that later on. Spray on the as well. It's nice cleaning cars like this because clearly it's been someone's pride and joy and they've cleaned it. They've probably had ceramic coatings on it in the past. Like even the barrels of the wheels are pretty clean. This one's definitely grubby. I think this one's caught some of the oil from when it was leaking. Greasy, look at that. Slime. What would be like a good degreaser? Would TARDIS be good for getting oil off this? Uh, yeah, see, so ideally, obviously the citrus is a degreaser and stuff. Yeah. It could go a bit heavier with. Yeah. We haven't put any citrus on there, or have you put them on the wheels? Yeah, yeah I oh, put you them did. on the wheels as well. Okay, let's... Uh... I'm looking forward to using this uh, new snow foam gun. Oh, mate, it's brilliant, seriously. It, it very, very much foams up. Um, I've had to turn it down a couple of times, because... Uh, it's too be, foamy. It, oh, it's too it's foamy coming out almost. like a paste. Oh, yeah, literally, it just paints the car in it. That's satisfying. When you put as much effort into cleaning the car and it still looks rubbish, just like less rubbish, it's not as satisfying. When you've got something nice like this, even I can get on board. I just roll it backwards a little bit, get it in the shade, and I need to uh, do the other bits of the wheels. Yeah, well. yeah, of course. Is that about right? Yeah. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. Pucker. Excuse me, sorry. Can't help yourself, can you? How do you manage one with as, as flaccid as this, Mark? Say again, sorry, mate. This thing, it's, it's like quite a good brush, but it just bends. It like, just bends, doesn't just it? Got... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I normally tend to just actually hold yeah, the actual I brush bit that. itself. <laughs> yeah. 
wait for the pressure washer engine brigade who are going to be like, oh, I won't be entering that competition now. You sprayed the engine. Fuck, it's it, dead. It's dead. It's going to die. Time to snow. Oh, we give it a jet off and then yeah, snow foamer. Jet off first and then, yeah, we'll snow foamer. Comment here for you, look. Toby, would you be interested in dropping two vehicles to Cornwall from Sheffield? <laughs> oh, would you? <laughs> so I've already made up a mix. Uh, which one's that? So that one is the acrophobic one that okay. I got given the other day. So this one is the snow foam. It looks very weak, but I'm sure. Hey, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, this is where it doesn't yeah. work now, and I just look like a dick. <laughs> so yeah, I've been using a lot of dual products. So I bought their fancy looking snow foam bottle with a backup one, because we use different products. So rather than having to empty out one bottle and put another one in, we've now got Tufa. This is everyone's favorite bit. This is the money shot. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> That is a very weak solution, so that looks pretty impressive, to be fair. What's going on? Look at that. We should use the old one just to demonstrate. That's, that's got a stronger mix in it. Yeah, yeah. So should I do the rest with the other bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our old... I'm not sponsored by Jewel, by the way. I just, yeah. you know, I'm just excited about gadgets. I'm a man. Um, you kind of have to wiggle this to get it to yeah, work. Yeah, so that one's got a sweet spot. There, there she is. Go. Anyway, you get the idea. That's a stronger solution, but it's just junk. Right, I guess we leave that to have a little bath, do we? Yeah, yeah, leave it to dwell a bit. Balloters like to say dwell a lot. Dwelling. Uh, have a little soak. Let it think on it. Tell you what, should we get the um, mats out of the boot? And yes. See what the score is with them. Oh, you shot the boot then. Yeah. Oh, where's your little workbench gone? Oh, I've collapsed my workbench. They look pretty clean, to be honest. Are they genuine Audi? Yes, they are. Oops. What do you use, a drill? Yeah, so... The old just, cheat code? Yeah, the old drill brush. Splash them with a bit of G101. Or, uh, unless you want it to just go straight in with the, yeah. Uh, Surprised how much stuff actually sprays out still, isn't it? Mm. Even after it looks clean. Got a bit of G101, we'll just give it a little coat in on it. Yeah, yeah. Give it a little spritz then. Got a little block, we can put some stripes in it in, or a brush or something. Yeah. It'd help if it did straight lines, wouldn't it? Perfect, but yeah, we've got to do that with the air blower thingy. Yeah, yeah. Go on then, give it a go. Yeah. So then it'll be the other way around, won't it? Oh yeah, yeah of course, of course. Um. What'd you use, this one? Yeah, yeah, get that one in there and... Do you want to lift it off? Uh, 
I think one of the brush might work better. Yeah. Shazam! Oh yeah. There we are, look. Before you judge, I'm not a valeter, but it's pretty decent. Mm. Shall I jet off while you do a, the next mat and then we can yeah, yeah, yeah. swap no, maybe? Definitely. Because obviously, yeah, it's already had a dwell, it's already had its rinse and stuff, so there shouldn't be any hidden bullshitty yep. bits in and amongst it that was obviously can cause scratches and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. Cool. Things has got a bit of a smoky smell in there. Luckily no burns or anything. We will leave the air conditioning recirculating, which goes through the filters and whatever, with a bit of smelly stuff. Just before we get in there and start scrubbing everything. Right, this thing's definitely had some kind of sealant on it before. We thought maybe it was uh, ceramic coated, but I think it's probably had a spray on ceramic of some sort. It was beading off, but now, You can see all the water's just sitting on there in one big sheet. It's not beading off at all. Now that we've done a proper like decontamination wash, it's the same down the side. The glass is all right. Well, I say it's all right. You can see again still. It's just coming off in one big sheet. So as we're not doing a proper ceramic coating or anything on this, what we're going to do is a spray polymer, uh, which we'll mix up now. We'll spray it on. It will give you about eight weeks of like looking like it's been ceramic coated all the water bead off, make it really easy to clean and just really good for maintaining the car. 250 milliliters of water in here. That's all the water you need. You take, this stuff's called Flex. There's quite a few different ones, but this one I have to say is pretty good. And you just get five mils of this stuff, which is one syringe full. And then we're gonna swap the snow foam lance over Spray that all over the car. Watch the magic happen. I've not used this in this Lance before, but both are from the same company, so it should work well. It just sprays on like a milky substance usually. Wow, that's way too much. Over the wheels and everything. That's gone on a lot thicker than the last time I used it with our other snow foam gun. Oh, I'm polymer coated now. Safe to go on all the surfaces. The beauty of this stuff as well is it works on your glass. So you can practically drive down the motorway at high speeds without putting your wipers on. I don't recommend you do it, but it just wicks all the water off that quickly. Right, we'll leave that on there for, I think it says about five minutes, but it's a dry day. We don't want it to dry on. So it doesn't really need all that long, at least as long as we leave it for a minute or two. Right, that's probably been long enough. What you're gonna see now is the magic. When I jet this off, you're gonna see how hydrophobic it is. It doesn't like water anymore, which is gonna help you clean it 
keep the car clean. Look at that. No more water sheeting up now. Let's do the bonnet, because that was the worst, wasn't it? That was just like a sheet of water. Chuck some plates on it and we'll get it in the showroom. Lockable boot entrance thing. Okay. Well, if you were unfortunate enough to be in the back of this, you'd be very squished, but you would have cup holders and your own vents and stuff, so yeah. Swings around about. It's actually pretty clean in here, but I do just want to get in with some G101 and just make sure everything is nicely cleaned up. So it looks good in the photos and it's nice and clean for its new owner. I hate working in tight confined spaces. I'm not built for it, am I? You should be in there doing this really, Tobes. But you're too smart. You do the video stuff. Baby Bell? Oh, there's the other shells. So the rear passenger at some point in here did have a baby bell. And, oh God, what is that? Half eaten apple or something? This is embarrassing. <laughs> Imagine taking me on the date and trying to get me in the back. <laughs> <coughs> This seat is, oh shit, as far forward as it will go. <sighs> right, let's rethink this. Let's have to hump this chair. Oh, oh yeah, that look cool. Getting out of my RS5. I think this is why I hated plumbing so much. Because everything you're doing is you're basically in like a stress position the entire time. Underneath like, I don't know, a bath or a kitchen sink or something. Or like this, like lent into the back of a car.
for a car that stinks of smoke so much, there's so many bloody vape tips. Right, there's one, there's Tubber, so we want to be over here, really. It's going to recover as much gas as there is in there, if there is any. We noticed when we were doing the previous video that everyone probably has told us in the comments that this bit was hanging down, so it's back up again. Right, so that is pretty much clean. We just need to wait for the air conditioning regas to finish. It's currently taking all the gas out. The good news is it has recovered, let me tell you. So it recovered 350 grams of gas. I think it needs 550 or something along those lines it said, because this machine, you type in what it was. So I told it it was an RS5 with a 4.2, not the three litre twin turbo V6. And it has taken all the old gas out, recycles what it can. It will now do a vacuum test, make sure that it holds and it's not leaking anywhere. Considering we had 350 grams in there, I think it probably is. So then we'll pump some uh, gas back in with some oil and we should have crispy cold aircon. Right, so as discussed earlier in the video, I am gonna plug in my OBD11 diagnostics tool. So if you haven't seen me talk about OBD11 before, it is this tiny little dongle, connects to your car via the OBD port and you use your phone as the scanner basically and you can do loads of stuff, not just checking fault codes and clearing them, which can be very handy if you've got a car that's playing up, but also to do customization as well. Right, so that's the dongle plugged in. We've got our ignition on and I am going to connect via OBD11 Vag Group app. Okay, so it's recognized that it's an Audi A5. It's saying our battery voltage is 12.2. It's currently reading our control units. So interestingly, it has come up with some fault codes, which I've looked at, we've got one for air conditioning and for central electrics. If we go into air conditioning, it tells us that sensor for refrigerant pressure slash temperature, implausible signal. That doesn't surprise me because we've just regassed this and it still wasn't cold. So I knew I'd have to get it in the workshop and get it checked out. But that tells us the mechanic already, Adrian said, it's probably uh, a switch or a sensor. It looks like this is gonna point us in the right direction. So I'm gonna save that information. If I go into the one for central electrics, it's the same thing. Sensor for refrigerant pressure, no signal slash communication. So, I'm not gonna clear them because I want to have the codes there so the guys can figure that out. But that has saved me I'm trying to wonder why the air conditioning wasn't working. And if we go to our apps, which is where you can do the customization, we can look at the different things so we can have open door alarm. Do you know what? Actually, that was just driving me mad a second ago. So I'm gonna turn that off because you sat here and I'm trying to do what I'm doing and it was going boop, boop, boop at me. Toby's probably got a clip of that and me getting grumpy with it. Shut the f up, you so I'm going to turn that off. It's going to go through its system and that will no longer bug me or its new owner. If you say you really want it on, you can let me know. I'll turn it back on for you. Battery level display on the screen. Uh, you can have daytime runner light menu in the MMI. You can have the gear display, which I think we have anyway. Daytime running light activation or deactivation. Drive select a vehicle without MMI. So I guess, I don't know what that does. Audi Drive selects it, makes it possible to select individual configurations for the engine and gearbox. Turn off or on the selection of the individual configurations for the engine and gearbox. Hmm. Interesting. You can have video in motion if you want to. Oh, additional modes in drive select. So we can have efficiency, off-road, race, efficiency and off-road, and efficiency and race. I want efficiency and race. I've always wanted to have a race mode in my car if it's possible. Look at that. Come in, it literally just changed in front of me. Look, now we have efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, race, and individual. How cool is that? Mirror dip, 
you would have heard me ranting about this in a weekly not long ago. So it really annoys me when both wing mirrors dip down when you're reversing, mainly because I'm trying to park them around the forecourt and they get in the way. So we can turn that off. Oh, you can have daytime running light function with the turn signal. That's pretty cool. You can turn the stop start off. You can turn your seatbelt warning off. You can turn on a lap timer in here as well. Honestly, the list seems to go on and on. Hey, here's a cool feature. Rather than just turning your stop start off, you can invert the button, inverse. So when you drive it normally, it will be off. But if you know you want it on to be kind of fuel conscious, then you can turn it on the way it should be in my opinion, but it is the other way around. Anyway, if you fancy getting yourself one of these little OBD 11 dongles and customizing your car really easily, sat in comfort, then check them out, find the link in the description and you can use my code METAL10, we'll get 10% off. Let's go and get some pictures of this car. Right, so that's it. The car's looking absolutely awesome now. We've still got that air conditioning thing to sort out. But otherwise, that is it for this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe and you're one of my subscribers when we hit 75,000, I am giving away a 2,000 pound Taika Heuer watch for completely free. And don't forget to get your tickets for the Audi RS5. You could win this for just five pounds. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time.